हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज द गिवन कैंडीलीवर बीन हैविंग द यूडीएल ऑफ 50 किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर 75 किलो न्यूटन अपवर्ड लोड एंड 50 किलो न्यूटन डाउनवर्ड लोड एज सॉन इन द फिगर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज ए फिक्स सपोर्ट एट लोकेशन लेट अस एज्यूम एज ए ए पॉइंट लोड लोकेशन एज बी एंड डाउनवर्ड पॉइंट लोड लोकेशन एज ए सी एंड एट फिक्स सपोर्ट एट ए देयर आर थ्री reactions first one is va in vertical direction horizontal direction as a h a and if we assume anti clockwise moment as a ma then using three equilibrium condition first of all sigma h equal to 0 now due to the absence of horizontal loading or inclined loading our horizontal reaction at location a as a h a which is equal to 0 now if we take sigma v equal to 0 and assuming upward force as a positive force then the assume va direction is in upward direction so va as a positive now due to the udl total load is load into distance in downward direction and it is negative 50 as a udl load and 2 meter as a distance now 75 kN load is in upward direction so it is positive 75 kN and 50 kN load at location C is in downward direction so it is minus 50 and due to the equilibrium condition the total value is 0 now solving these values we have vertical reaction at location A which is equal to 75 kN so our reaction at location A is 75 kN and positive value indicates our assumed direction is okay now next condition is sigma moment at location a equal to 0 now here we are assuming clockwise moment as a positive now we assume ma in anti clockwise direction hence it is negative ma now at location a if we take the moment due to 50 kN per meter udl it is in clockwise direction hence it is positive and due to the udl our moment at location a is load into distance into distance by 2 as a cg distance so it is load 50 2 as a distance and cg distance is at half of the distance so it is 2 by 2 now for 75 kN load our moment is in anti clockwise direction with respect to a hence it is negative and due to the point load the moment is load into distance from location a hence it is 75 into 2 and if we observe the 50 kN point load it is downward and it creates the clockwise moment at location a and total distance is 2 plus 1 as a 3 hence the value is positive 50 into 3 which must be equal to 0 and solving this value we will have moment at location a which is equal to 100 in terms of kN meter and this value is positive it means that our assumed direction is right so our moment at location a is so for the analysis first we have to find out this support reaction using three equilibrium condition now let us going ahead for the calculation of shear force at different different point as for calculation of shear force we are going to assume the sign convention as sectional left hand side upward and sectional right hand side downward force as a positive now if we observe the point a then sf at point a which is equal to va in upward direction so it is positive va and the total value is 75 kN now from location a to b there are udl so at exactly at location b but ignoring the 75 kN load so just before the point b it means shear force at location b but in the left hand direction so it is indicated at sf point b in left hand direction so it is vertical va minus total load as a 15 so 75 minus total load of udl is 15 into 2 hence the total value is minus 25 kN so now exactly at location b while considering 75 kN upward load our value is 75 in upward direction 50 into 2 total load in downward direction so it is minus 50 to 
and 75 in upward direction so positive 75 kilo newton and the total value of shear force at location b which is equal to 50 kilo newton and if we consider the point c with 50 kilo newton load so exactly at shear force at location c it must be zero if we calculate left hand side then vertical 75 in upward direction 50 into 2 in downward direction so it is minus 50 into 2 75 in upward direction so 75 up and 50 kilo newton down so it is minus 50 and if we summing up this value we will have the value of 0 and this indicates that our calculation is ok now using this value we have to construct the shear force diagram as first of all taking the reference axis as a xx axis or reference shear force axis exactly at point a our value is 0 now at point a with vertical reaction the value is 75 so without taking the scale if we take the 75 value as a indicated value and as per the shear force rule we have to draw a vertical up direction now from a to b just before the point b our value is minus 25 so it is nearly in the negative direction and we know that for UDL our shear force diagram is inclined line so from 75 to minus 25 our diagram is inclined line then at location B considering 75 kilo newton load our value is 50 kilo newton so from minus 25 to 50 our value is in upward direction and from B to C there is not any load between B to C hence this air force diagram is horizontal straight line and exactly at point C our value is 0 hence the value diagram indicates the value as a 0. Now this indicates the positive value and negative value of shear force diagram with the SF values. Now observing the shear force diagram of given B between A to B there is a zero shear force point which shows that at this location there will be a maximum bending moment. So let us assume this point as a D point and assuming that from B to D the value of distance as a x and total value is 2. So from A to D the value is 2 minus x using similar triangle rule 25 divided by x which must be equal to 75 divided by 2 minus x. Now solving this term we will have Our value of x which is equal to 0.5 meter it shows that at location d from point b as a 0.5 meter there must be a maximum bending moment so let us going ahead for the calculation of maximum bending moment as well as the bending moment diagram now exactly at point a we have anticlockwise moment is moment at A which is minus 100 kilo newton meter as sign convention says that external left hand side anticlockwise and right hand side clockwise value is negative. So our anticlockwise value must be minus. Now at location B if we observe left hand side direction then the moment is minus 100 as a MA. 75 into 2 in clockwise direction so it is positive 75 into 2 and due to the UDL it is anticlockwise and negative and the value is 50 into 2 into 2 by 2. Now solving this term we will have the value of bending moment at location B as a 50 kilo newton meter but it is negative. So at location B our value is minus 50. Now exactly at location C and if we observe the right hand side direction there is not any beam or any load in the direction of 
C to right hand side. So, the value must be equal to 0 or if we consider left hand side direction and calculate the bending moment values such as bending moment at B, we also get the value as a 0. Now, if we draw a bending moment diagram using, using this value, we will have taking reference line. Now, at location A, our value is minus 100 kilo Newton meter. At location B, our value is minus 50 kilo Newton meter. And at location C, our value is 0. But we know that at the location D, there must be a maximum bending moment. And for calculation of this maximum bending moment, let us assume a section in between A to B and taking a free body diagram, then it is look like. Now, for maximum bending moment, the section shows that at distance 0.5 meters from location B, there must be a maximum bending moment. Now, taking moment at this location, we will have maximum moment which is equal to now sectional right hand side clockwise value is negative, hence the value is minus 50 into 1 plus 0.5 as a 1.5. Now, due to 75 kN load, the moment is in the anti clockwise direction and right hand side anti clockwise is positive, hence it is plus 75 into 0.5 as a perpendicular distance. And due to UDL of 0.5 meter span, it is creates the clockwise moment, hence it is negative 50 into distance as a 0.5 and CG distance as a 0.5 by 2. Now, solving this value, we will have maximum moment at location 0.5 meter from B as minus 43.75 kilo Newton meter. It means at location D, our value is 43. 75 kilo Newton meter. Now, using these value, we have to construct the bending moment diagram and we know that due to the UDL, our bending moment diagram is curve. So, from 100 to 43.75 to 50, it is a curve. And this curve is indicating the parabolic curve. Now, we know that between B to C, there is not any point load. So, the bending moment diagram is inclined straight line. And at location A, it is downward 100 due to the anticlockwise moment at location A. And this diagram indicates the bending moment diagram of given cantilever B having the maximum bending moment of 43.75 kN meter, but it is in the anticlockwise direction. Thank you.